young people to enter into our industry. We had personal interviews with the students that had signed up for the golf plan. Um, they had a lot of questions to ask particularly about um, what could we offer to them and what working conditions in the UAE are like. And we had the opportunity to share that experience with approximately 20 of the students who showed an interest at that point in time. All right. And after we'd been to the campus and we'd had a meeting, we decided to become a partner with the IIL and create those opportunities for the young students to come into our company, spend three months hands on practical experience and give them that extra motivation to want to stay in the industry and commit to the industry. Yeah. Why did we do it? All right, we want to, um, Dear Desk is, is, is a growing company and we need to employ people um, on a regular basis. And we felt that this could be a way of creating opportunities to attract people into our company, not only into, into the industry. We felt, uh, Captain touched on it earlier as well, it's a very good opportunity to get the hands-on exposure. Um, you know, 90 days seems like a long time, but I think when you serve an internship in a company and you're moving from one department to another department, learning the different disciplines and practices in the department, it's actually quite a short period. Um, our objective is to expose the people. All right, I'll come to that just now, sorry. Um, we'll expose the students to all aspects of the disbursement account processing, right through from the creation of the port call through to the final settlement. So they have an idea of what happens in terms of processing a disbursement account. We're not going to teach them anything about how to sail a ship, um, what are the required documents for a ship to enter a port, what are the port captain's regulations. That's not our business. We will teach them about disbursement account processing. So we structured a 12-week program for the students that come into the business. And uh, we're going to start off with a familiarization program just to tell them about what DA Desk does and expose them to the program we're going to actually put them through, stressing the importance of a hands-on approach. And our plan is, at the end of the period, um, they've got to come out of each specific department and provide an internal document to us, which will go back to the IIL as well, in terms of what did they learn. We feel that they learned, and also for us, if they decide to come back and want to join us, um, they have a better idea of, oh, I'd prefer to be in that department, or I'd prefer to be in that department. So they have some exposure, as a, instead of just walking in and placed into a position to start working. Not only will we ask them to tell us about their um, learning experiences and that, we will do an assessment of that student as well, which goes back to the IIL and gives them some indication of the student's uh, ability to learn and their commitment to actually participate. Okay. Um, at the end of the program, uh, there will be an assess part of the assessment will be uh, if we have an opportunity in the future, we will make offers to those young students before they even go back to India. Because most of them will go back to India for approximately six months, some more, to complete the program. And then at the end of that training or their, or their education, if they still feel they want to come and join DA Desk in the UAE, we will make the opportunity available to them to enter the industry. All right, that's it from my side. I don't know if anybody got any questions or I don't really want to address questions because that's not my brief here tonight, however. Thank you very much for your listening to me and your attendance tonight. Thank you. Thank you, sir. IAO is always thankful for having the support and association with DA Desk and its team. And now I call upon Ms. Divya Shri, Manager Marketing IAL, to introduce Mr. Suresh, 
Chaturvedi to the gathering. Good evening. Mr. Suresh Chaturvedi is a logistics professional with more than 19 years of hands-on experience with multitasking organizational abilities in various departments like sales and marketing, customer services, operational strategies and quality systems. He is working with GSE Group since 1994 in various logistics responsibilities planning over air and freight, clearing and forwarding, shipping, etc. He is a member of executive committee and treasurer at DSAA, member of executive committee and secretary of finance at Institute of Charter Shipbrokers UK's Dubai chapter. He is also a member of executive board of NAFL. Sir, I request you to come and address the gathering. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening everybody. Uh, I don't have much to say here because uh, we have heard a lot from Captain Pushpa and then um, from DHS as well I had a good input. Uh, in the work that we have done closely with uh, DSAA, like we realized that Dubai being the hub for logistics uh, and shipping, we are currently having uh, about 80 members involved in all kind of activities related to the industry and uh, it came up as I think a couple of years back that we realized that there's an opportunity for having those training seminars uh, which we tested out and that was a big hit. Like th there's been times when people have even requested us for uh, like kind of organizing repeat sessions and, and then uh, in that same line when we further were discussing about things uh, this IAL thing came up and it was realized that well this is a kind of thing which is going to help the <coughs> local industry. As DSAA we are uh, now in the 11th year of operation. Okay, Nena correct me it's 12th year. So we work very closely with the local authorities like the port, the customs, the chamber and uh, it, it works both ways, like we are trying to communicate from the authority side to the local members, explain to them like what exactly is the right way of operations and what is expected of us. And on the other hand, fro the issues that are face faced by the agents and the, the shipping companies here are being presented to the local authorities. So, I mean it's like a two-way flow where we are doing a lot of work. And uh, the initiative from IL when it came up, like we, uh, we then it was circulated among different companies as well as uh, DSA itself has signed an MOU with IAL and this has been taken up very well. I mean I on the personal side I work with Gulf Agency company and I have been with DSC for uh, now close to 18 years and our company as well we have uh, agreed in principle that yes we will have students from IAL as interns who will go to different uh, activities that we involved in. Uh, as a company, GSC uh, is involved in all facets of logistics. We have different divisions like uh, a forwarding division which is handling just the forwarding part of it. Then we have 3PL, the shipping agency and then the tanker and then we have a solutions division. So literally it's end-to-end uh, -end working is available with us. So it will depend upon the students coming from IIL and what exactly they would like to know about and learn about that we will be able to help them with the internship. Uh, GSE is now in the 56th year of its operations. We have more than 2000 employees all over UAE. So of which 1100 itself is just in Dubai. So it's, it's a big operation that we are running here and we are always in need of new talent. So we realize this initiative is a very important one and I'm sure it will work a long way in the coming time. Uh, if I can just make some comments on the local uh, market here, logistics happens to be the driving force behind uh, Dubai. We are the regional hub for shipping as well as logistics. So I'm sure with the coming time, the way the infrastructure is set up, it will be a lot of demand that will be placed on having the right talent in place. I agree with the point raised by Captain that uh, people have been lending up in an industry not by choice. 
it's just if there's no other choice we have had a lot of people coming in so it's about time com keeping in mind that the competitiveness is becoming more and more important you will have to have people who understand how the industry works what are our requirements uh, globalization is going up day by day and every every uh, further move on that front requires our industry to be more competitive more accurate more precise so i mean i, I would like to just thank uh, IAL on our personal level as well as on behalf of DSAA and uh, GAC for this good initiative and we would be glad to assist them in everything that they would plan for in the future. That is all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you sir and also to DSAA for extending their support to IIL. And now I call upon Ms. Aishwarya, Assistant Manager Internships IIL, to introduce Mr. Ritesh Ramakrishnan to the gathering. Thanks, Ms. Rexy. Good evening, everyone. I have great pleasure in introducing our guest speaker, Mr. Ritesh Ramakrishnan, one of the youngest director of Transfer Group of Companies. Mr. Ritesh Ramakrishnan has completed his Bachelor of Science from Purdue University in Jena, specializing in the field of logistics. He joined Transfer Group of Companies from in the year 2010 after a successful understanding about the group. Thereafter, Mr. Ritesh Ramakrishnan has been involved in all aspects of the functioning of Transfer Group and overseeing the financial, commercial, operational and administrative departments. The Transfer Group of Companies has a complete spread of activities that focuses on providing total shipping solutions. Transfer has a strong base in India backed up by its well-known shipping company Shreya Shipping and Logistics Limited and also with various ship agency service divisions. Internationally, the group is well known for its premier container feeder service operated by Orient Expense Lines Free Zone Company. Its NVOCC division operated by Balaji Shipping Line Free Zone Company and the Transfer Free Zone, a logistic park and distribution facility situated at Jebel Ali Free Zone. Now, sir, I request you to please address the gathering. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for a lovely uh, introduction. Thanks. Uh, so I actually tried uh, to write down something so that I don't embarrass myself. I'm probably the youngest person here. Uh, so many other mo much more accomplished people than me sitting on the dais and sitting uh, in front of us. But uh, let's see, let's see what I came up with. Firstly, I think Captain, I must compliment you and your entire team for putting together a fantastic event. And the initiative that uh, your team has taken is something that's truly appreciated by all of us here. And I'd like to give you guys a round of applause for that to begin with. 